Hi guys, welcome to Hannah's Backyard. So today um, I'm going to take you along for planting some celery and I'm going to try my hand at some lavender. Um, I've had some before in the past but it never made it through winter so I don't know. I just thought it's something else to try. I really like having it and then I'm going to do a couple more um, echinacea which I did last year but I thought it wouldn't hurt to have you know, one or two more. So yeah. Um, hopefully I have enough in here. I am going to double what I had last year. Well, I think I had nine. Um, but I think I'm going to start, I think it's going to be three trays of the celery and then the other ones will be the echinacea and the lavender. So um, I'm going to fill out my trays and get started on that. Okay, so what I did last year with the celery is I basically just set it pretty much on the top. It's, they're really tiny seeds and they say to go an eighth, eighth of an inch. Um, and so I just threw a couple in the centers last year and then when they started to come up, I would just clip off um, the weaker of the plants and um, then eventually get to just one. So. Yeah, they are super small. And I did change my mind. I'm just going to do 12. I mean, how much celery does a person need? I did can some last year. Um, and it turned out really good. There's like probably four seeds in each one. These seeds are just so small. Um, today is February 28th. Yeah, February 28th. Um, I am in zone 5B. And last year I started the celery, I think it was February 25th. So I'm a couple days behind, um, but uh, I think it'll just, it'll be just fine. So I'm just going to kind of press them in. Because an eighth of an inch isn't really 
all that deep. I might actually take a little bit of the dry dirt here and so they are actually covered a little bit, but not much. So that is the celery and I think I'm going to mark them quick. Okay, now for the lavender. Basically, it's not very deep. These are very tiny seeds. Also, oh my goodness, you can barely see them. And so, I don't even know if anything went into that one. them in. Lavender. And you should um, probably do cold certification for these seeds. I do not. Um, I didn't last year, and I didn't have the greatest luck with it. Um, I did get two out of the three I planted, and I'm hoping that they'll come back this year. I've seen them outside. They're still out there. Um, so, it didn't flower last year, which I think is normal. Maybe not flowering the first year. You know, they have to kind of take root and become established. So I'm hoping that this year they will flower. But otherwise, why am I planting them, right? But good things take time. That's what I have learned through life. So I'm hoping that with some time, they will become an established plant perennial for my my garden ah. and let's see here let's there's that so that's all I'm planting right now because it's still pretty early um, I'm thinking next week we will start the broccoli, cauliflower, um, brassica type stuff. Lots of cabbage this year. Again, cabbage is probably one of my favorite things to grow. And um, I have quite a bit of kale and other things to start this year. Also, um, this year I'm going to have a lot more greens. Um, basically for the chickens and myself, I found that I really enjoyed uh, kale and whatnot from last year. So... Let's put this on the seed, Woo, the heat mat to get up. <laughs> and I already got it plugged in. And this is probably not quite necessary for these, but I have one, so might as well. Like I said last time, it's super cold in my house. So, and I'm not worried about the 
I'm gonna water them in a little bit. Now I did moisten the soil, but I just kind of want to water them in from the top. The rest of this time after this, I will be bottom watering. Um, I really like that. Um, I've had really good luck with it. Hopefully I'm not blasting these seeds everywhere. So I'll stop with that and probably put a little bit of water. the bottom of this tray for probably about 20 minutes and then I'll come back and empty out this tray um and then Okay, and here is the update on the onions. I promised you guys I would update you, and um, it's been, I think, 12 days since I planted them. Um, this is the Walla Wallas. Um, they are just starting to pop up. This is the white, or no, yellow Spanish. One of the packs of yellow Spanish, and they're coming up. This is the white Spanish, and they are just... Bam, they're coming. Uh, probably the newest seed pack. I think I just bought these right before I planted them. So maybe that's why the germination rate is so good. And then this is the oldest seed packet I had. It was two to three years old, and there's not one. Not one coming up. So I'm not sure if I should just give up on this. But for now, it can sit here. Um, I was, nothing was coming up, nothing was happening, and so then I ended up putting it on the heat mat, and then gave it light, and lo and behold, they all popped up, so the, um, I took the humidity dome off, and, you know, now we're in the, the easy phase, in my, uh, in my opinion, much easier for me to handle this stuff than just letting things sit, watching them, making sure it stays moist, and all of that, so, yeah. There we go. There's a nice update. Okay, so thank you guys for coming along while I planted my celery and uh, updated you on the onions. Um, I'll be back in probably a week. Um, let's see, what's the date? The 28th? Yeah, I'll probably start the brassicas around March 6th or that the week of March 6th, whatever, whatever that may be. But um, yeah, we're really going to start to get things rolling here. And hopefully, I gotta figure out, I'm in a different room this year than I was last year, and it's very small and very cramped, so I feel like I'm right in your guys' face or on the floor, like, to try to get room so I can video, but um, hopefully I'll get something like that figured out. I, like, I was saying the last time that I'm gonna be building a greenhouse, I don't think we're gonna have that up in time. Um, we just got 11 inches of snow and then followed by... Um, two inches of rain yesterday, so it, it feels like winter's never going to end, but alas, I know it will, but it just right now it feels like um, never, so. So yeah, anyway, all of that aside, we will see you guys in the next week or so. Um, thank you for following along. Make sure you liked the video, subscribe to the channel if you like the content, and have a good one.